From musicals to gritty crime dramas, comedies, and social justice flicks, Alan Parker refused to be pigeonholed as a director. Born in 1944, Parker, like many of his generation, got his start as a copywriter and director of commercials for ad agencies. His first feature film was Bugsy Malone, an exuberant musical in which all the adult parts were played by children. More musicals would follow. Like fame in 1980, about a group of teens attending a performing arts high school, popularity spawned a hit U.S. TV series. In 1982, Parker directed The Wall, a surreal rock opera that helped propel British group Pink Floyd to superstardom. Despite Parker's dislike of his film, it's gone on to achieve cult status. His gritty depiction of an American's harrowing incarceration in a Turkish prison for drug smuggling in the 1978 film Midnight Express earned Parker the first of two Best Director Oscar nominations. His second was for the powerful civil rights drama Mississippi Burning in 1988. Despite his nominations, he never won an Oscar. But over his three-decade career, his movies would win 10 Golden Globes, 10 Oscars, and 19 British Academy Film Awards. On Twitter, BAFTA said it was deeply saddened to hear the news of Parker's passing. While the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences said Parker's work entertained us, connected us, and gave us such a strong sense of time and place. Parker's many other film credits include The Commitments, which charted the ups and downs of a Dublin soul band, Angela's Ashes, and the big screen version of Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical Evita, starring Madonna as Eva Peron. In 2002, Parker was knighted by Queen Elizabeth, and in 2013, he was the recipient of the British Film Academy's highest honor, a BAFTA Fellowship.